at 8, a bridge has collapsed on the Mumbai-Goa highway late night. Rescue operations are underway at the moment. The NDRF team comprising 50 personnel has been rushed to the spot from Pune and two more teams will be sent in shortly. Raigad Collector has confirmed that one-way traffic has now resumed on the new bridge. Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis has said that there were two parallel bridges, one of which is new and one that was constructed during the British era. The old one, reports are suggesting, has collapsed. The Chief Minister said that the primary reason seems to be for the collapse of the high pressure that was caused due to flooding of river Savitri that was caused due to heavy rains in the catchment of Mahabaleshwar. No casualty has been reported so far. At the moment, we're joined in by the Director General of the NDRF. Uh, thanks very much, sir, for being with us here. First of all, uh, uh, share with us the rescue operations that are being carried out by the NDRF on the bridge collapse. Yes, we got information in the morning. We immediately dispatched one team of NDRF to, mm -hmm. the, lo to the location. Uh, there are 50 persons. Uh, most of them are divers and other experts on the collapsed building structures. They'll be reaching very soon there, and then they'll start their operation. Okay. We are, we are finding some difficulties in reaching this spot because there's too much of rain on the way, mm -hmm. and uh, the distance is quite uh, much from right. Pune. And uh, the moment we we'll start operations, we'll be able to tell you exactly what happened and how we are going to conduct operations. Okay, sir. Right, sir. Do you have any updates on uh, the number of casualties as of now because of this accident? No, I'm sorry, I can't tell you about the exact number of casualties or whether there are any casualties okay. or not. That you can confirm with the district administration and the district administration. But we we have already dispatched two more NDRF teams there looking at uh, the situation. And the commanding officer has also left. And the moment we start operations, we'll be in a position to tell you the exact right. right. So one more uh, question that we would like to ask you. You are saying that, of course, the rains are hampering and going to hamper. That's predicted. That's uh, anticipated. Uh, the rescue operations that needs to be carried out as far as the bridge collapse is concerned. So in the wake of that, how uh, prepared is the NDRF going to be and what more uh, preparations and measures is the NDRF going to take? No, we are already prepared and looking at uh, the monsoon scenario, we have already pre-positioned in most of the places, we have already pre-positioned our teams, uh, be it the state of Assam or Bihar or other places. Even in Maharashtra, yesterday we got the information that there are certain locations which, uh, which are anticipating some heavy rainfall and we dispatch our teams to Nasik and other places. Okay. Uh, this is a sudden development. This particular incident is a sudden development which, uh, due to which, the, due to flooding and due to maybe incessant rain, uh, the, the, build, the, the bridge collapsed. So uh, this was a sudden development and on, on the basis of that we, are, we have sent our team to that place. All right, sir. Thanks very much for joining us uh, for the moment and sharing all those details with us. Uh, here on Doordarshan News, so uh, DG NDR was speaking to us here on Doordarshan News about the rescue operations that are being carried out by the NDRF. Of course, one team comprising 50 personnel has been rushed to the spot and two right. more teams is what we are learning will be dispatched shortly. Of course, the rain unfortunately hampering the rescue operations as far as that uh, bridge collapse is concerned. Perhaps but the uh, fortunate yeah. uh, thing as far as uh, at this moment is concerned that no casualty has been reported.